some female candidates for the Supreme Court. Blech. Awful. And Louisville, Kentucky, is looking for a riot. Bubba Wallace is not gone, and there is another rhino female for Joe Biden. What a disgrace. This is the end of Hour 2, Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Stay tuned for Hour 3 with Jesse Lee Peterson. I'm James Hake with Hake News on this short break. Not fake news. So, a little more about the Supreme Court. Here are the top contenders. By the way, The Hake Report is coming up after Jesse Lee Peterson's show, and you can catch it, thehakereport.com slash show. Now back on YouTube, DLive, Periscope, Twitch, and Facebook. A little more about the Supreme Court. The top contenders include of who Trump might pick to replace just so-called Justice Ginsburg. Judge Amy Coney Barrett is the Seventh Circuit Court judge in Chicago, said to be the White House's top pick. Who knows? A former clerk for the late Justice Antonin Scalia. She's shown support for expansive gun rights and abortion restrictions. Very good news. She's also been through a tough confirmation fight for her current job. 2018, she was a finalist to replace Justice Anthony Kennedy, a spot that ultimately went to Brett Kavanaugh. Judge Barbara Lagoa is another top contender in possible Trump's pick. Who knows, right? The 11th Circuit judge is from Miami and is a daughter of Cuban exiles. Some believe picking her could help Trump with Florida voters. Recently, she ruled in favor of a Florida law requiring former felons to pay debts before casting a ballot. Well, I guess that's okay, I guess, but I'd rather felons... Well, anyways, while Trump's called her terrific, they have not met in person. And Louisville is looking for a riot. The skim reports yesterday Louisville, Kentucky's mayor declared a state of emergency ahead of a potential decision in the Breonna Taylor case. Kentucky Attorney General David Daniel Cameron is expected to announce soon whether he'll charge police officers who shot and killed Breonna Taylor in the crossfire when their, her boyfriend was shooting at them. She's a 26-year-old black female, was, now she's dead, following a no-knock search warrant in which they knocked and announced, which may have been ill-advised at her apartment back in March. The incident fueled nationwide so-called protests, more like riots, against imaginary police brutality and imaginary racial injustice. It's not clear whether a decision will be made, but Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher says he wants the city to be ready for so-called civil unrest, meaning terror attacks from Black Lives Matter and Antifa, and to give space to to protesters while keeping everyone safe. Ridiculous. She was in the drug business, by the way. Just FYI. Bubba is not gone. The Skim reports, far-left female outlet. The NASCAR team, earlier this week, NBA legend Michael Jordan and NASCAR racer Danny Hamlin said that they've formed a new racing team with Bubba Wallace, who was the only black full-time driver in NASCAR. He's going to be the driver. Gosh. Pass. Quick note regarding COVID. The skim reports Halloween this year. The CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, say no to trick-or-treating and indoor haunted houses and costume parties because of COVID-19. To stay safe. They're okay with uh, haunted forests, though, because it's outdoors. Bring your mask and a flashlight. Ridiculous. Cindy McCain, the widow of the longtime rhino Senator John McCain from Arizona. Shame on you, Arizona, honestly. Has endorsed Democrat presidential nominee Joe Biden, the far-left Democrat who was vice president under the worst president ever. That would be... Barack Obama. As you may recall, Biden ran on a ticket against her husband in 2008. Yeah, he lost to Obama. Loser. But the announcement isn't a total surprise. Not a surprise at all. She appeared at the Democrat National Convention last month supporting Biden, talking about Biden's relationship with her late husband, whom President Trump often attacked defending his own supporters. The move comes as Biden is trying to peel off so-called independence and Republicans so-called alienated by Trump's rhetoric and actions, including in battleground states such as Arizona. What a disgrace. I'm James Hake. Now on to Jesse, Hour 3.